Hi guys, Steve Blackard here again. Hey, uh, I recently showed you my Herbrand coil and condenser tester. Uh, well, today I thought I'd show you something a little bit more unusual, another type of coil tester. This is an Iceman magneto winding tester. It's for testing, designed to test uh, Iceman magneto windings or magneto coils. Of course, it can be used for any kind of coil, really. And uh, this dates to probably the mid 1920s period, so it's it's close to maybe it could be a hundred years old. Uh, it's a it's a neat old test device, uh, very complicated, uh, but it actually works really really well. And uh, I thought I'd give you a, a little uh, demonstration of it. it. Comes complete with the instructions and all the readings for different types of Iceman magneto coils and what the reading should be. Tells you how to hook it up, uh, <clears throat> all the different uh, connections and and, uh, and and how it works. So it's a pretty neat piece. So it runs off of, uh, uh, the way it works is it's got a 6-volt battery. I connect up to it to provide power to the, to the uh, instrument. <clears throat> there is, in the back of it here, I'm going to try and show you this. There is an uh, electric motor that runs a set of ignition points. And that is visible in this little window back here. I'm sorry about the glare, but there's a set of points there that run off this a little electric motor. And that gives us the brake for it. And um, then the electric motor runs off of 110. So I'm going to hook it up and uh, we'll show you how it works here. So it's, it's actually plugged in, ready to go. So I'm going to turn on the motor. And you hear the points, that, that chattering is the points running back there. And then I'm going to actually turn on the battery to it, and you'll see the points here. Now one thing unusual, this is a kind of a glitch with the camera, is on film it looks like there's a consistent break in the spark. Well there is, but it's not as dramatic as it looks like. And that's because of the speed of the points. They're pretty slow, so you're going to get a break, the spark is going to go on and off. Um, they're actually Visibly, it looks like it's almost continuous, but it shows up here as a break continuously. But this is uh, a magneto coil from a teens, 20s era magneto that I just took apart. And it's much like an automobile, a, a regular point addition coil. It's got a primary input and output, and then the secondary output goes to the spark gap. So the spark gap is adjustable. And uh, so you can uh, you can adjust that in accordance with the, uh, the the ratings over here, and see how well your your coil works. Uh, so and it has a built-in condenser also, so you can use that as needed. Um, and it's made to it's got actually a, a set of points on two sides. The left side is for a complete armature with a winding in it, and the right side is set up for gapping just the, the uh, winding of the coil alone. So another neat little old tool, probably close to around 100 years old, um, and it actually works really, really well. So anyway, I thought you'd find this interesting. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. So, bye now.